field, see what the scientists seem to be doing for fun. Balloons burst via Heath Robinson gadget. This isn't the boffin's playroom and there isn't any trickery. It really is a ray gun. See what happens to that piece of wood. Scientists at the Services Electronics Research Laboratories at Bulldog show off the remarkable powers of the laser. Newer and stranger than the hovercraft because this is where science fiction comes face to face with science fact. A laser is simply a concentrated beam of light, or to put it the long way around, light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation, usually produced in a tube of gas. The balloon bursting laser works by carbon dioxide. This machine produces an argon gas laser and you can actually see it, especially when it's broken up by a prism and liquid nitrogen is poured across its path. The power of the laser is in the intensity of its concentration. It's possible to bounce a laser beam off the moon, and measuring a beam's frequency is an intricate electronic procedure. Experimenting with lasers isn't just fun and games. All kinds of practical uses are being developed. Here the CO2 laser seals plastic bags with a short, sharp burst of intense heat, and they stay sealed. A laser can also be used as a remote control means of ignition. A laser also works by reflection. It's all done by mirrors, something to take James Bond's breath away. Lasers are already being put to use in medicine, welding, photography, even drilling holes in diamonds. It's hard to explain just how these powerful rays of light are generated, but easy to show the effects. And since we're well and truly into the space age, here's how to get Guy Fawkes Night going with a bang.